triangles. Here's the setup. If an altitude is drawn from the right angle of a right triangle, if an altitude is drawn from the right angle of a right triangle, so let's look at this right triangle. Triangle A, B, C. The right triangle that forms the entire figure. Right triangle A, B, C has a right angle measure at angle A. Angle A is the right angle in right triangle ABC. This word here, altitude, the altitude is drawn from that right angle. What does the word altitude mean? A height of something. A height of something, how high you are. So altitude should be the distance from the top straight down to the bottom. AD is the altitude of right triangle ABC because it's the total height of that right triangle from bottom to top. It's the perpendicular segment from the right angle at angle A straight down to the bottom. That right, I'm sorry, that altitude cuts the right triangle into two other right triangles. ADC is the right angle here for the figure. ABD is the right triangle in the left part of the figure. Those two triangles that are formed are similar to the original triangle. How many triangles are in this diagram? Three. The small right triangle here in the right corner. The medium right triangle here is the right triangle diagram. When I draw the altitudes are, are similar to each other. The two right triangles formed from drawing the altitude are similar to each other, and each of those two right triangles are similar to the original right triangle, triangle ABC. So this statement here in blue is kind of the end result of drawing that altitude, drawing the whole thing here. Triangle ADC, the small right triangle to the right. Triangle BDA, the medium right triangle, the one in the middle of all three, here on the left. Triangle BAC, the entire one, the total figure, the one that we started with. They are all three similar to each other. So we're going to write some proportions because they are similar. We're going to write some proportions to solve for some missing lengths within these three similar right triangles here in just a minute. Let's look a little bit deeper at why these right triangles are similar to each other. There's three ways to prove that any two triangles are similar. What are they? It's got combinations of A's and, and S's. A, A, S. A, A is one of them. When two angle measures are the same. S, A, S. S, A, S is another. S, S, S. S, S, S. All three side pairs are proportional. Let's use one of those three. See why this set of triangles are similar. So up on the television screen, I've got this applet loaded. Here's the original right triangle. It's got the right angle up on top, and it's labeled the two acute angles, the blue angle here to the right, and kind of this red or orange acute angle here on the left. We're going to draw this angle right down to the bottom. There's the altitude that was drawn to cut that right triangle into two other right triangles. The right triangle on the right has the blue angle measure, as well as the right triangle here on the left has that same orangish pink. If I keep using the slider, I can also see that this same angle measure in the top part of this right triangle, the same as the one over here. The blue angle measure, I can slide up 
And now it's a part of the same right triangle here on the left. This blue angle membrane on this corner as well. All three of these triangles have those same two blue and pink angle measures. The small right triangle has the pink angle measure as well as the blue acute angle measure. The medium right triangle has the blue angle measure as well as the same pink angle measure. The blue angle all have those two blue and pink angle measures within the triangles. Small right triangle has the blue angle measure and the pink angle measure from the original right triangle. The triangle on the left, the medium right triangle, has that pink angle and the blue measure from the original right triangle. So all three of these triangles have how many angle pairs the same? All three of these right triangles have how many angle pairs that are the same? Three. Three, but really all you need is how many? Two. Two. Because our, isn't, if they have two angle measures the same, does that make the third angle measure the same as well? Yeah. Yeah. So they're similar by angle angle. All three right triangles are similar by AA angle angle similarity. Hear me, I'm sorry. Squeak by. So let's use those similar right triangles to find some missing side links within some of these figures. Try a couple examples. A set here. I've got this same set of similar right triangles. How many right triangles? are in this diagram. Two. Uh, more than two. Three. Three. Where's the third right triangle? There's the small, small right tri triangle. Here I am. The small right triangle, the smallest of all. Kind of share some side links too, don't they? Like this X in the middle is a side link for both the small right triangle and the medium right triangle. It's going to be hard for me to see what goes with what, so I kind of start diagramming it out. So let's put a little visual aid together. Let's put a chart together. There is a small right triangle, a medium right triangle, and a large right triangle. I'm going to separate all the side lengths for each of these three right triangles out to see what goes with what. Every right triangle has two legs, a short leg and a long leg. The longest side length is called the hypotenuse. Look at a right triangle. Which side's the hypotenuse? I just draw this right triangle. The number of the this is a review from our work yesterday. There's two legs that meet in the right angle. The two legs form the right angle. One is shorter, one is longer typically. Is this the longer leg or the shorter leg? Long leg, short leg. So I've got a little visual aid, a little chart to put what goes with what with each of the three triangles within our diagram. Let's look at just the top row of the smallest of all three here. It has two lengths being given, a six and X. The six is which of the three sides, short leg, long leg, or hypotenuse? Short leg. Short leg, I agree. How about the X? Is that the long leg or the hypotenuse? I heard long leg, I heard of hotness. One of those is right. Hotness would be a side leg because it's the longest side of that 
right triangle. It's opposite the right angle up in the top part of the triangle of that small right triangle in the corner. Medium right triangle. The medium right triangle, the next row in my chart, talks about this right triangle. The one in the top corner of the diagram. It has another two lengths given. One length is labeled as X for that right tri triangle. The other is given as, as eight. The eight, eight is which side length? Eight is the longer of the two legs. Here's the right angle for that right triangle in the top corner. It has two legs, X and eight. Eight would be the longest of those two legs. The X is which side? The short leg or the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse of that right triangle is actually this side leg here. I don't have that labeled, so I'm going to move on. The entire triangle, this right triangle figure, I don't have this leg. I don't have this leg. What's the hypotenuse leg? Because it's just uh, eight and six put together. Here's everything I know from the diagram. Let's see if I can use any of these corresponding matching side lengths to make a proportion. Do I have any matching pairs of sides across two right triangles? John says six is to x as x is to eight. Let's just use this corner of the chart to put some matching sides together. I have the short leg and long leg paired up across two similar right triangles. Six is to X are the two short legs, as X is to eight, the two long legs for my pair of similar triangles. That would be really hard to look at unless I started to maybe make that chart and put some of this together. Start cross multiplying. What's x times x? Six times eight, 48. Square roots, and x is equal to the square roots of 48. Of course, that needs to be simplified. How can I factor a square of 48? Well, perfect square divides into 48. A little bigger. Or does, it takes it faster. 16. How many times? times? No, three. Three. 16 times 3 makes 48. But I chose 16 because what's the square root of 16? I break up 48 into 16 is 4. Square root of. Each triangle is a little bit different. So let's try another one. I've got another right triangle here in our diagram. Side X would be this length for us to find. I know the top length is 13. I'm going to make the same graphic organizer for each of the three sides. Short leg, long leg, and pockets. Tic-tac-toe. triangles each with three, much as time. start with the small right triangle where's that at the triangle on the left the triangle on the right and the largest triangle the entire diagram all together which one's the smallest right triangle of all three on the right the left one so I'm going to cover up everything else let's look at just this small triangle to start filling in our top row 
There's two lengths labeled, five here, x here. But x is which of the three sides? Short leg, long leg, or high bottom? Short leg. Short leg. So small triangle, back. short leg. Call it an x. The five is what? I heard hypotenuse. I heard long leg. Triangle. Five is the longest side in that right triangle. It's opposite the right corner, so it's got to be the hypotenuse. The long leg is what's here in the middle. I don't have a label for that, so we're going to move on. Let's see here. here. Let's come down to the medium red part of the diagram. Anything that I can write for that medium right triangle? What would this distance have to be? Take out. Right. Whole length is 13. One piece is X, so the other would make difference. 13 minus X. Is that the short leg, the long leg, or the hypotenuse? The long leg. It's the long leg. So medium triangle, long leg. I'll write 13 minus X for an expression. Don't know what the hypotenuse is here on the right part. I don't know what this short leg is here in the middle. So we're going to move on to the next row, the large triangle. The large triangle is these three side legs. Five is which side? Short leg, long leg, or hypotenuse? Short leg or long leg? Short. Here's one leg. There's another leg for the large triangle. The five is the shorter one when compared to this leg over here to the other side. There's the table we have, the information we know so far. Anything max that I could use to write a proportion? How about the corner? X is to 5 as five is to 13. N is to 13. I have the short leg and hypotenuse for two different right triangles that have to be similar. So I have more corresponding side pairs matched up from the table. Short leg in one triangle is to short leg another right triangle as the hypotenuse in one triangle is to the hypotenuse another term. Equal to five times five or twenty-five. Finish it up. What do I have to do to solve for x? Five by thirteen, obviously. And I think our answer is 25 teens. How do you guys feel? Try one. We're good to go. Well, then. All for X instead of right triangle. First starting to do this, I would make that chart, make the diagram to help you put what goes with what together. A side length of 9 and 15 is given. Find the missing side length X in the diagram. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Right 
We didn't use the 14 here as a bump. I didn't use this 13 minus x here. You don't have to use everything that you're given. Oh, uh, everything's right with the x. It doesn't really matter. If you look at the way this is drawn, there's a medium triangle here. There's two legs. Here's a leg and another leg. The X is which side leg? Is that the shorter leg or the longer leg? Correct. This side leg is shorter. This side. Determine what the heck. And you just have two left. So in the small right triangle, Josh, 9 is the short leg, 15 is the hypotenuse. Well, that 15 is also the short leg of the large right triangle, right? They're overlapping. It's doing double duty. I know. Yeah, because 9 times 9 is 81, not 36. Oh, I've never actually had someone. 9 times x and y is 7 is equal to 81, plus 9x. But, you know. You got a cross multiplier. 9 times 9 plus x, plus 9 times x. 
All right, guys, look at your work here. Getting this set up. We're going to make the trigger. Sure Tic tac toe. In the small right triangle, nine is the short leg, 15 is the hypotenuse. In the medium right triangle, X is the long leg here. And then in the large right triangle, 15 shows up again. It's the hypotenuse of the short triangle. It's the hypotenuse of the small right triangle, as well as the short leg of the large right triangle. So 15 here. What's the hypotenuse? And so it's 9 plus X. That's good. There's your chart. Use it to make a proportion. And you said 9 is to 15? As what else? Use the corners. 9 is 15. That's 15 to 9 plus. 15. 15 is 2 and a quarter. 9 times 9 plus x. What's 9 times 9? 9 plus 9x. Minus the AB1 from either side. That's 144. Thank you. 144 equals 9x to divide by 9 with. And there's 16. Yeah, I got 15. 16 now, Charlie? Yeah, I added 15 plus 15 instead of 15. Ooh, yeah, cross products. You gotta multiply, multiply, multiply. Yeah, it's only like 4.6 something. Okay, I guess you have your conversion. Let's talk a little bit about tomorrow and into next week, since I may or may not see you tomorrow. Yeah, you don't I don't know. I went to bed and it was a little hot. I woke up this morning and now it's a little bit warm. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. I didn't teach you. You go to school for long enough to realize especially with this 32 degrees, one way or the other, it makes a big difference. Could be all rain. Could be a lot of snow. That's what I said. Tomorrow, just more practice using similar right track. Next week is our. Grab your laptops. I'd like you to spend some time working on this practice. The key is on the